Hey everyone, it's Ebby. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I have some planner items to share with you today. All right, so I bought a couple of items from the new release that happened a few weeks ago. So I've actually had these for about a week and a half or so. Um, I only picked up two things from the, the new release, actually. I bought this notebook and I also bought a sticker book, a sticker album here. It's like the big grand color story sticker book. And um, we'll just start with the notebooks. I wanted just some plain notebooks to kind of jot down random things. I thought I would use this for actually just kind of planning out my YouTube videos. So this is a 60 page, and um, let me get this cover part off so you can see everything. And sorry about the glare, I'm filming like right directly underneath the ceiling fan light. But this planner, I mean, it's super cute with like sort of the black detailing. And it's one of the ones that was the most neutral of the releases that they had out there or that they had out. It's got like the black stripe on the inside. And then the paper is just the lined paper with sort of like a geometric on the spine. And it's got three dividers. So they're pretty neutral themselves like that. Um, I'm sure you've already seen these. I mean, you can see really good details on the website as well, but... That's what that looks like. And then this first divider here is just sort of that geometric pattern. But I just wanted to have like the little notebooks to kind of jot down, you know, just some little notes basically for like when I plan out videos. Then when I was at Joann's, I found another notebook and this is the dot grid paper. I really like dot grid paper a lot. This one, it's semi-neutral. It's got just a touch of like, you know, mint green. And the dividers are pretty neutral themselves. So here's the first divider. Here is the second divider. And here is the third divider that's really pretty, like so. Um, but yeah, so there's two little notebooks that I can use for, you know, kind of YouTube planning out and whatnot. So I bought a couple of other things too, so I'll show you the sticker book real quick. So I ended up picking up one sticker book. I've been watching a lot of videos on organizing the um, Happy Planner by using laminated wet erase pages. And a lot of the planner girls were using these like full boxes and the half boxes to sort of plan out and create their own like packing list or you know the chore list and I thought I would give that a try and I thought this was a really pretty booklet to kind of do with that. It's got a lot of full boxes and just some really pretty stickers to kind of help decorate the pages. I thought that would be fun to kind of do and be crafty and whatnot. I picked up a couple stencils that I thought would be fun to use in my planner. So these two gray stencils here are from the brand Park Lane and they were just like 50 cents at Joann's. So I was like, you know, why not uh, just go ahead and grab those and I can use them either in my notebooks over here or I can use them in my traveler's notebooks. These would be good if you do like bullet journaling too because you can make all your little like box decorative boxes as well as like the cute little banners or like, you know, the floral leaves on the side with the flowers. Those would be fun to kind of add into a bullet journal page if that was like something that you were doing. So look for those if you're at Joann's. They might have them online. I've, I've seen this brand before. They do a lot of like washi tape and like decorative like cutout stickers. So check for those. They had a bunch of like planner stuff on sale at the craft stores. I also grabbed this stencil here. This one is from the Happy Planner as um, the Happy Planner line of products. There's two stencils in here. So one has like the check boxes and then one has circles. So I thought that would be fun to use in the note in my Happy Planner notebook as well when I'm sort of like planning out like a checklist of items to do for like my videos. So I thought I would use this stencil also as a template to make my own dividers for my notebook over here. Just sort of trace this out onto some cardstock or pretty scrapbook paper, laminate it and then hole punch it and then you can just pop that right into your planner. So it's sort of a two-in-one type of product or multi-use product in a way. It's got top tabs on the top so when you make your own templates or when you make your own dividers, you can easily like add your own labels like a today marker or just a page marker in general for your notebooks. I had to pick up a punch because I was going to be making customized pages for my new notebooks over here. And so I picked up this nine hole sort of a mushroom shaped punch. And this is specifically created for the Disbound planners. But I wanted to make my own like dividers and everything to put in the notebook and um, to kind of section off the notebook. And so I need to have a punch to put those in. So I added, I picked that up with a coupon at the craft store. Make sure to use your coupons. Those coupons are like a lifesaver. I bought this accessory pack off of the website. It was under the sale section. And this is like the only one that was like the most neutral, just sort of like the black and the white. I'm not too crazy about the big letters here on the side that just say, it says like so busy 
on there but it comes with stickers it comes with notebook papers it, as well as sort of a cute little decorative paper clip I just wanted to have a pocket that I could put into my notebook to kind of organize like the small little like sticky notes and whatnot or if I make my own sticker page I can stick that in there I don't know what I'm going to use the stickers and the extra pages for but I know I wanted to use the pocket for you know organizing in the notebook but and the paper clip is super cute so I'll probably put that like in my traveler's notebook or something I also grabbed a couple of these wet erase dry erase marker boards of the items that I bought in this haul that I'm showing in the video these are my two favorite items that I purchased I'm super excited to try to use these in my notebook and there's two dividers in each pack so in this pack here there are two sort of like meal planning guides it's um broken down like the days of the week on one side and then let's just turn it over on the back and you can see but it's broken up sort of like you can meal plan throughout the week and then one is for just meal or just for planning in general. So I'm super excited to use those in my notebooks because these would be work great, especially this one. This would work great for planning out like my YouTube videos, like I would know what day to focus on certain content because I do batch filming. So I'm really looking forward to using that. And then this other one would be good, like it says, for meal planning. So that that's super excited to try to use those. And then I have another one here that's a little bit larger. So this one is sort of a three quarters of the page um, notebook size and then this one is a full notebook size. This dry erase board here is for event planning and this is from the Happy Hostess line. So here's what the first one looks like but you can kind of jot down in like checklist style things that you need to do in preparation for your event. And then the second one here is a little bit more geared towards like meal planning and like the decorations. But I thought this would just be fun also to use for like planning out content or just writing in general. I'm super excited to try to use these. And to go along with those, I bought some pens. I bought these pens, the Visa V's. I remember these back in like middle school. I remember using these markers on the little overhead projectors, like in class, especially like math class, when you go up to the front of the line and solve the problem. But we used to use like different colors. So I just bought this pack of black. I've already opened this up, but there's, and basically you can just write on here, let it dry, and then you can erase it off with like a damp towel. So, so these work perfect for using on these type of um, dry erase boards. So yeah, those are a couple of the things, kind of like accessories that I bought to go with my notebooks. I also bought, since we're, I just talked about pens, let me finish talking about the other pens that I bought, but I bought some more pens to kind of write in my actual planner. So I bought the Paper Mate Flares, just a pack of black. These, I like, I really like these a lot. It's sort of like that chunky pen to hold and then it's got like a 0.7 um, of the ink tip there and it's in the medium. And then I picked up, I wanted to try these. These are the Bic Gelosity. It's sort of a push pen um, gel ink. It writes really smooth. It's like that fraud resistant, water resistant ink. And this is also in a 0.7 as well. I usually write with the Ink Joy gel pens, but I was just wanting to try something different. But we'll see how it goes. If not, I'll just switch back to my regular schmegular Ink Joy gel. Okay, so back to the notebooks. I have another planner to share. This is another notebook. It's sort of a slimmer notebook. It's like half of the size of the full size, like classic planner. I thought I would use this for like a grocery list or grocery planning guide or notebook. Um, it's got just the lined papers on the inside. It's very neutral, which I really like. It's got like the dark gray rings here on the side. Um, the front is really pretty. The inside, I'm not really too happy about that. I'll probably just cover that up with like some white sticker paper or something. I thought this would work perfectly for organizing like different shopping lists because you can easily just kind of tear these out and then, you know, go shopping at like the the grocery store. I'm going to do sort of a little project with this notebook. I have some ideas on how to kind of make this really into my grocery store notebook. And the last planner item that I bought was this Happy Planner Snap-In cover. It's for like their mini planner. And I was going to just put regular plain notebook paper in here. This one I will use to take with me every day in my work bag. I already have one. I was using it a couple years back, I was using it as my fitness planner, like a mini size fitness planner. And so I couldn't find that, so I had to buy another one. And the last bit of this haul is just a plain sketchbook that I purchased at Target. The paper quality is really, really good. It sort of reminds me of that Erin Condren paper. It's like, it's really thick, but it's like, it works great with like the smooth gel pens. But I'm just going to trim a lot of this paper down and punch it and put it into this notebook. 
um, and then I'll just have a plain notebook that I can carry with me in my tote bag like when I go to work and um, so that's what I'm using that for but I can also use this paper to make my dividers for more these notebooks here and just laminate the pages and everything like that and just make it really pretty but I really like this nice art paper for using as like writing paper you either sketch out like sticker designs I can draw in here or I can just write random notes like when I'm on break at work so I thought I would use that for that and that is it for my haul my planner goodies I haven't I haven't purchased planner items in a long time I didn't purchase that many things but it's it's enough to kind of get me through for a couple of months um, in terms of like organizing and filling out this notebook for like video ideas and and everything like that. So that is it. Let me know down below if you like to buy planner supplies or just go to the store to look to see what all is out there and if you found any good sales. And I will see you next time. Bye. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Also click that notification bell so you'll instantly know when I post a video. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.